Um, Curaleaf, C-U-R-L-F stock. How does C-U-R-L-F stock move after rescheduling from Schedule 1 to Schedule 3? Curaleaf, of course, is the biggest with market capitalization and revenue cannabis stock there is. But what happens next? HHS has made its recommendation to DEA. DEA is, of course, reviewing that recommendation on and before November 27th, required by law, they will put out information as to how they can regulate and enforce the laws if cannabis turns to Schedule 3. So what happens next? One of the big things, of course, is 280E gets removed because Cureleaf, along with all other cannabis companies, would be able to legally exist and do business. This will shift the bottom line, but to where? Truth is, we really don't know a whole lot at that point, but if we break down basic numbers, we can kind of get an understanding of where CURLF stock could be. It's actually not that much higher for now, but this is a company that is number one, pole position. Biggest market cap, biggest revenue. They will shift to uplist to a bigger market. NASDAQ, Amex, NYSE, whatever it may be. Because of that, a lot more eyeballs are going to be looking at Cureleaf. So their growth is going to be really scrutinized. Same thing with their bottom line. Remove 280E, you'll see a shift in where this company could be with profitability. But what next? C-U-R-L-F stock. Let's jump in and I'll show you what I'm looking at. If you're just joining me for the first time, make sure you hit that like and follow button. Thank you so much. The channel is growing quite considerably and I expect that this is likely to be what happens in the coming future. No one has been lining up to buy these stocks because they've been in limbo and it's produced a bear market. Make sure you also follow the description down below, dhtaylornalysis.com, and I have my other channels. I've broken out some of those channels, so I have this channel is specific for cannabis stocks and only cannabis stocks, whereas I broke out all the other kind of content I was doing onto my other channels. Make sure to check those. Make sure to get the free email newsletter. Every time I do content, send out the free email so that you can figure out what you want to see from my channels. And here we are looking at CURLF stock. Um, we've seen a bit softening, and I expect we'll probably continue to do that. No one is lining up to buy these stocks. First, they're OTC. Makes it difficult for some people to even get in. Second, they're federally illegal. Makes it difficult for people to want to get in. But that's going to shift real fast. November 27th, that shift, we will hear from DEA then all Biden has to do is an executive signature. I expect he will probably do this prior to year's end. And then from there, 2024, a whole new environment. Looking at these stocks from a value investing sort of angle, where will they be? These are growth stocks at this point, and you want to know what's the value there. Uh, CURLF stock We've seen sort of a flat lining in revenue. That needs to change because they are going to see a lot more scrutiny. Uh, they got about 150, 150 plus dispensaries right now, 18 states. And I expect that they'll likely to continue to expand. I'm really looking for a lot more M&A activity starting after 2024. You might see some in 2024, but you're also likely to see these companies kind of uplist. Then when they uplist to new exchanges, you're going to see them kind of shift things and make new deals to expand even more. There's going to be scrutiny on these companies. Okay, revenue growth. Where is it? Need that revenue growth. That's going to be one thing. Second thing, of course, is bottom line net earnings. Okay, where does 280 shift things we don't know but we do know that their estimates are that they're these companies are paying about seven and a half to eight and a half percent more in taxation so if you subtract that out you can kind of see things gross margins of course these guys are uh sort of right around the norm 
slightly below um, should they continue to push more through organic growth, more individuals walking through their stores, that organic growth is going to be so crucial because you're not investing any more money into a new dispensary or growth facility. And because of that, more foot, uh, people going through the stores means more revenue, more units sold. Operating efficiencies, these guys are pretty solid, but could be better. If you take a company like Cureleaf and then you merge them with another company and then you slash that company's SG&A, all of a sudden, and let's say they move uh, Cureleaf's uh, total revenue by say 30, 40, 50% upward, and they keep their operating costs about the same by slashing all the other costs from the previous company, the bottom line starts to get real fat. And that's where they're going to get the pressure. Uh, EBIT to profits kind of went sideways as well. My expectation is that as we see this kind of growth, you'll see EBIT to profits moving higher. Net earnings, of course, they've taken some hits on net earnings. If we take away 280E, you're likely to see a big shift in profits, 75 to 8.5% on taxation. We'll see how that plays out. Total equity, of course, has been declining. But what I want to see is all these companies just did see kind of a big rise in stock prices. So I'm looking forward to, and I think we get Cureleaf's next earnings report in about a month, month and a half. So it'll be interesting to see where total equity shifts. Finally, future revenue. 1440, can they hit it for 2024? And what will that mean for the bottom line? Because as you can see over the past two years, not much growth. But what can they do in 2024? This is about a three and a half to four and a half percent growth for the um, for Cureleaf for 2024. How much of that through economies of scale will trickle down to, into higher profits going forward? I looked at some, I broke down some numbers and I asked a simple question. Okay, you got 1.45 billion coming in in revenue next year, 2024. The S&P 500 prints about eight and a half, eight and a quarter percent net earnings on a margin basis. Fine. Break that down, take a look at the numbers. Where does that put with a 20 times forward earnings price? Where does that put CURLF stock? It actually puts it anywhere, at, say, 450 to 550. For the stock. So we would see some gains if they were normalized. Now, how much of that normalization will come from removing 280E? But this is still a growth company in the sense that they only have 150 dispensaries. These guys are the biggest. At some point, they'll hit 200 dispensaries, 250, 350. Big numbers. A lot of that's going to happen with MA, a lot of that's going to happen with organic growth where they build their own facilities. And then you're going to see dispensaries themselves just continually grow business. So the two, the 450 to 550, I think is reasonable, but below where it could be should we see that 280E shift outward and continued growth. We're at that point now where this becomes a value investment, and we start asking basic principles. The hype is gone. I've said this before. I don't know how many times. There's no line of people showing up to buy these stocks. But they are going to shift. And they are going to get more eyeballs. Important eyeballs who are going to sit there and say, I'd be interested in this stock, but you need to do something about that revenue growth and your bottom line. They're going to get more scrutiny. On OTC, it's not happening. And I expect, though, that that shift will really start to accelerate growth because they're going to be forced to kind of make moves and make things happen. So starting in 2024, I really see a big shift of what's going on. CURLF stock, the biggest, this is one you want to take an eye on, simply because those outside eyeballs who are going to shift into buying these stocks are really going to start pressuring management for performance. So we'll see how that all plays out all through 2024. Make sure you hit the like and follow button. Follow the links to my website and my new channels. We'll see you in the next video.